So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to buy a houseplant or an indoor plant. Now, your first question that you're probably having is, where do I go? What stores are best for my houseplant? There's quite a few options for you and we'll go over them right now. So number one is social media groups, especially Facebook groups. You can search and find people who have made groups in your area where you can ask them where great places are to go to buy plants. For example, you can see here, I asked this question of where should I go to buy houseplants? I wasn't really sure because I was new to the area and people gave me lots of options, including trying to sell me their own plants. So you can even buy houseplants on these Facebook groups for really great deals because usually people are just trying to get rid of them. You can also trade with other people or find little cuttings of plants um, that you can grow on your own. It's a really great resource that not a lot of people really know about. Your next option is nurseries. They often have the widest selection of plants, which includes houseplants. So if you're looking for something specific, this is a great place to go. They always, well, I shouldn't say always, they usually have fair prices and their staff is very knowledgeable. So you can always ask them questions. And lastly, another pro about nurseries is that since they are in a nursery and growing, they have the best possible care because they're under a lot of sun. And so they're usually very healthy and strong plants. So next up is big box stores. So what I mean by this is big hardware stores like Home Depot or Lowe's or there's Walmart as well. So these big stores that usually carry some sort of houseplant section within their store. You can score some great deals here. They usually have great competitive prices and they usually have a clearance rack because they're constantly bringing in new stock and switching old stuff or damaged stuff out on clearance. The health of these plants can be a little questionable at times because they don't have the best lighting or they aren't well taken care of. So overall, you can find you, you can find some good things here, but just be aware that you're going to need to inspect them for any sort of damage or pest before you buy it. Number four is specialty plant shops. So these are shops that have decor and accessories to go with your plant. They're known for being a little more stylized and on trend. Um, the plants here may be a little more pricier, but they're a great place to go if you're wanting decor with your plant because it is all here right in one place. And lastly, we have grocery stores. So this is definitely a convenient option because you can grab a plant while you are shopping. Um, they usually have a smaller selection, but will carry most popular house plants. Um, the plants here face the same problem as the plants in the big box stores, you know, not so great of lighting and they're kind of just slowly dying in these places because they aren't getting what they need. But they're usually priced a bit higher than big box stores or nurseries, but you can still find some pretty good deals here. You know what I like? There is one last option you can do and that is online stores. These are a great easy option to buy houseplants. They usually have most varieties that you could be looking for. The only thing is it's harder to inspect if it's going to be a good plant, if there will be no pests on the plant because you aren't going to see it till it arrives on your door, but it is a very convenient option. So now that we actually know where we are going to buy our houseplants, now we need to know what we should be looking for. So number one thing, I want you to look for pests. There are a multitude of pests that you could be finding, and I'm going to show some quick pictures right here. There's spider mites, which you can kind of tell they're a little webby. There are thrips, and they cause damage that looks something similar to this. There are also mealy bugs. They're kind of these white fuzzy things. All of these bugs are microscopic, microscopic and kind of hard to see. This is an example where I thought I found some mealy bugs. I will say they love the underside of leaves where they're kind of hidden. And they also love to be on new leaves where there's a lot of nutrients for them to be eating up. Another pest that you can find is scale. 
These are kind of hard to see, they kind of blend in, they almost look like little bumps, but if you look closely, you can find them. And lastly, but not least, there could possibly be aphid, aphids, why can't I say that word, aphids, on your plant. Um, so just be on the lookout for any of these pests. Um, you don't really want to be bringing those home into your house where they can spread to your other plants at home. And some other things that you should be looking for besides um, pests are drainage holes. You want your plant to have drainage holes so that it can let the water out and the roots won't rot. Also, you want to be looking and keeping your eye out for any damage. Generally, you don't want to be paying for something that is damaged, so just avoid those altogether. Look out for squishy stems. Go ahead and feel them. If they are soft, that could be a sign of rot within the plant, um, depending on the plant. Some plants are a little more firm than others, but if it feels real squishy, just skip it. It's not going to be good. Another thing that I encourage is to smell the soil. I know it sounds crazy, but <laughs> I made my husband do it here in this video right here. And the reason you want to do that is because if it has a really nasty smell to it, it doesn't just smell like dirt usually does. That could be a sign of some sort of fungus growing within the soil and you don't want to bring that home because it probably will die shortly. And some other things that you should know is that don't buy a tiny plant and expect it to be able to grow into a huge one. Um, exceptions could be pothos and other vines, but in general, the size of plant that you're buying is what it's going to end up being. And last thing is that you should, if you're buying a lot of plants, bring a box with you or some sort of container to get the plants home safely. Um, some nurseries will even let you borrow a tray or a box for you to take temporarily. In general, these rules apply to other plants as well, not just specifically house plants. Um, but that is basically a guide to how to choose a house plant that is going to last long, that will not have problems. So basically just how to get yourself a healthy house plant and not give yourself a headache. I hope this was helpful. Um, once you do bring your plant home, I would say don't worry about repotting repotting it for a while. Go ahead and just place it in a decorative pot to enjoy for now. It may lose a few leaves, some may go a little yellow, but don't be alarmed. It's just adjusting to um, its new home, your house. Um, just keep an eye out for pests if you notice any. Try and quarantine your little plant to keep it from causing any more problems. And thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it.